Hello and welcome. The floodlights are shining down here at the 80,000 capacity Blue Sail Stadium just to the north of Doha. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me in the commentary box providing expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Senegal versus the Netherlands. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. And they kick off here. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Nathan Ake in central defence. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Now, what can they do from here? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Well, we have seen signs of an improvement by the Netherlands recently. The question is, are they in the conversation when it oh, comes... Oh, big moment here, Derek. Can he find the net? Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. They take it short. Veering in field here. And the keeper had the measure of it. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. Taken short. Now veering in field. Tremendous block. Now smuggled behind for another corner. And taken short. Ake. The Netherlands get the throw in. That's a nice looking ball. Not the best clearance. Well, they can keep possession now. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Oh, good work by the keeper. Playing it short. De Jong. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Oh, another corner kick conceded. Let's see what they do this time. Elects to go short. Ake, superb block. And he read it well defensively. Dia. And given away by the Netherlands. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And yellow it is. A booking? Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Very quick thinking there. And the goalkeeper will claim it. Steven Bergwijn. And they need to get tighter here. Memphis Depay! And the keeper diving to thwart him. And the short option preferred. The chance might be on for him. Well, not troubling the goalkeeper at all there. And from that sort of distance, you should be troubling the goalkeeper. Technique let him down there. Ismail Assar. Dia. Poor pass under no real pressure. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. So back underway here into the second half. Just the challenge that was required. Depay. On to De Jong. 
And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Can he put it in? Oh, chance missed. Nil-nil it remains. Well, chances don't come much better than that. What a miss that is. Ismail Assar. It's opening up for them. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. And he gets away with a warning here. In my view, that's good refereeing. Strong, but not officious. Frankie de Jong. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Well, very effective play in possession. The save was a good one. So a personnel change then. And taken short. Can he find the net? Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Favouring the short one. And how about that for a save? So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, as you can see, this has been a fairly open contest. Chances at both ends, plenty of good attack in play, and it's been really entertaining. Well, they've lost the ball. Saar. Oh, breezing past him. Real chance. And there it is. The deadlock has been broken. We wondered if a goal would arrive. Well, now it has. And will there be a response now? Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? De Jong. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Steven Berghaus. Clattered away. On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. on it good goalkeeping Ake De Jong Ake has it how could he take them on and beat them well it came to nothing in the end And the final whistle, defeat here for the Netherlands. Stuart, your assessment as regards their performance? Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. And I think it's fair to say he'll be happy with his own contribution in this game, Stuart. Well, he was at his best today. Lots of energy, good movement and plenty of skill. And to cap it all off, he got the winning goal. That was a brilliant performance.